up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to get out of Rookieville fast and easy in NBA 2K21 next gen. If you guys already have a power forward or a center that you have VC with, you can upgrade to 85 overall. Go ahead and use that player and I'll show you guys the method after. But if you guys don't have a big man, this is the player you want to create. So you want to make it a center. For the height, you want to max it out at 7 foot 3. For the wingspan, you want to max it out at 8 foot 1. And then for the weight, you want to put that all the way up until you hit 95 strength. So just put that to 265. Now getting into the attributes, these are actually really important because as you guys can see right here, it says 25 overall, but when you do get on this player, it's gonna start as a 60 overall. So some of the attributes like defensive and offensive rebound, if you upgrade them to 95, they're not gonna start at 25 here like you see on the left, they're gonna start at about 62. So you wanna max your rebounding 100% because that's what gets you a lot of teammate grade. Then you wanna max your pass accuracy. These are the two most important things, rebounding and pass accuracy. Your shooting, you don't want to touch at all, but now going into the finishing, you want to max your close shot and you want to max your standing dunk. You can max your post control. It's not as important as these other two finishing attributes, but you can max that. Then going back down to the defense, you want to max your block and interior defense. And then for the physicals, you want to max your strength, max your vertical, max your stamina. And now you're going to be at 94 overall. The rest doesn't matter too much because what you put up is not going to go up that much, but I'm just going to put it to speed. It doesn't really matter. That's probably going to stay at like a 26. And then for the takeover, this part is pretty important. If you're not the best at getting rebounds, you want to put C the future. But when I did this method, I put glass clearing dimes just so I can get rebounds and get easy assists after. So I'm going to do glass clearing dimes first and C the future second, just in case I end up getting my second takeover. So now that you guys have this build, if you don't already have a big man, I'm going to show you guys the method. Like I said before, the attributes that you upgrade to 95, they're going to be at about 60, so that's really good compared to 25. So now that you guys made this build, you want to load up into Rookie Build, and I'm going to show you guys how to get out fast and easy. Now that you guys have the build, I'm going to show you guys a full unedited gameplay. It's just one game of how I got out of Rookieville. So you do want to crash the rebounds on offense and defense. On offense, make sure to not get offensive three seconds. And on defense, you want to sit in the paint until your guy hits a three-pointer because most people can't shoot in Rookieville. They're not that good. They're not used to the game. So they are going to miss a lot of shots. But once your guy does hit one three-pointer and you get a defensive breakdown, you want to start guarding him because those defensive breakdowns will add up and then your teammate grade will be low. So if you guys didn't know, teammate grade is what determines your rep this year. So you want to get the highest teammate grade possible. And the two things that you have to do to get your teammate grade up is to get rebounds and assists. That's what gets your teammate grade up the most. And the two things that actually lower your teammate grade the most is getting turnovers and getting defensive breakdowns. Right here on defense, you can see me guarding my guy on the perimeter until he drives into the paint. I really didn't want to get that defensive breakdown. And towards the beginning of the game, I wasn't getting too many rebounds, but you guys will see as the game goes on, my teammate grade is going to skyrocket. So just keep taking a look at my teammate grade. Right here, I didn't get another rebound, but it's okay because I have so many opportunities for rebounds. Just because a lot of the people in Rookieville, they're getting used to this game. They don't have badges. A lot of people are new to the game. So Rookieville is actually pretty easy. But the reason I made a 60 overall is just so I can grab as many rebounds as possible because a lot of people were either on guards or shorter bigs. So right here, the board didn't go to me. My teammate left his guy open, but I just stayed in the paint. Hope for the rebound, didn't get it there. You guys are gonna see in this next possession, I'm gonna get a rebound, I'm gonna get an assist. So on offense, you wanna stay in the paint unless your teammate drives. You can see I backed out of the paint to give him space. Right here, I'm gonna dot my teammate. He doesn't make the shot, but I stayed in the paint, got the board, passed out to my teammate again. He missed again, I got another board. Passed out to him again, he shot again. He ended up missing again right there. You can see three boards just from that one possession. Right here, my teammate took a stupid shot, ended up passing out. And on offense, you don't wanna score unless it's a score off assist. So unless somebody passes to you, you don't wanna just ISO and score because that gets you no teammate grade. So only score if it's a score off assist or if it's a second chance point. So if you get an offensive rebound, you can go back up with it. So that's why my points this game were not high. I only averaged like two points in Rookieville, but I ended up getting out in seven games. And the least I've seen somebody get out is in six games. And most of my friends, they got out in between 10 to 15 games. So you guys know that six and seven games is pretty good. Right here, this guy ended up getting the ball. I got a steal just because they wanted to do something really stupid. Right here, my teammate ended up shooting it. I didn't get the pass to assist. I'm not sure why, because if you pass to your teammate, then they pass to another teammate. You usually get a pass to assist. I guess I just didn't get that to my teammate grade. But on defense, I'm kind of playing the perimeter. I'm kind of playing the paint. I wanted to stay in the paint as much as possible, but without getting a defensive breakdown. So you saw I was kind of in the paint, kind of not kind of playing between the paint and the three-point line. And I try to do that on defense just so I don't get a defensive breakdown and so I can be near the paint. 
right here. I kind of left my guy open. I wanted it to shoot. I ended up stepping up too much, so I couldn't get the rebound there, but I did get multiple defensive stops to my teammate grade. Every time you get a rebound and you're on a fast break, you want to do what this guy did right here. After you get the rebound, just chuck the ball down to the furthest guy down. Hopefully he cherry picks and hopefully you can get easy assists doing that. And if you're nearing the end of the game and you realize your teammate grade isn't as high as you want, you can set screens for your teammates. That gets your teammate grade up. And if you end up helping them score, you'll get a screen assist with that as well. Right here, you see, I tried to play the paint. I thought he was going to pass it out. He ended up not. So my teammate grade is still a B minus, but I end off with an A minus. You guys are going to see how. Right here on offense, this guy, I don't know what he's doing. He ended up getting a turnover, which is kind of good just because defensive rebounds are a lot easier to get than, than offensive rebounds. So playing defense gets your teammate grade up a lot more. Plus, you can get fast breaks from that. So right here, this guy is cold. He's just jab stepping. I don't know what he's doing. But this is how you want to play defense. You want to stay on your guy. Don't let him make the shot and then try to crash for the board right there. I didn't get it, but that's okay. You guys are going to see that my teammate grade is going to skyrocket, especially towards the end of the game. So back on defense, my teammate ends up getting a steal. I don't know what he was doing. He was just cold. He ended up running into my teammate. Right here, I get the ball. I try to dot my other teammate for an assist, but he actually wasn't open. So right here, I kind of try to clear the paint just so they can drive, but I stay near it just in case they shoot it so I can get a rebound. That's the kind of position that I go for. And once a shot does go up, I end up running into the paint for the rebound. So right here, I'm just letting them do their thing. I'm trying to get rebounds. They're not shooting it. We have three seconds left on the shot clock. So that's when I go into the paint right here. I get an offensive board. I end up passing it out. And this man is at half court. I don't know why he's sitting there. He could have had an open three, but he was just chilling at half court. So right here, we have seven seconds left, six seconds. I try to clear the paint for this guy to drive, but stay near it once again, and he ends up greening the shot. So on that possession, you guys saw I cleared the paint for my teammates, but I stayed close enough to the paint, so that way when a shot goes up, I could just get the rebound. Right here, this guy drives into the paint. I left my guy open. He wasn't shooting the best all game. And right there, I didn't get the rebound, but I got successful box out. So if you guys have a guy near you, just hold L2, you'll get successful box out. That boosts your teammate grade a good amount, and those will definitely add up over the game. Right here, I didn't end up getting the block, but that's okay. So back on offense, for some reason, nobody wanted to be the point guard, so I didn't know who to pass it into. This guy ended up running back, finally. I don't know what my teammates were doing in this possession. This guy pulls a horrible corner three, ends up passing out to me. Right here, I get a good pass, which you can can get two to three of those per possession those help your teammate grade right here i end up not catching the ball because this guy doesn't have any badges he doesn't have bailout and i'm guessing he didn't upgrade his pass accuracy so i couldn't catch the ball but luckily that was his turnover and not mine so back on defense they're leaving their guy open i'm chilling in the paint i end up getting a box out but i didn't hold it for long enough so i didn't get the successful box out this guy just runs down the court easy layup and my teammate grade is still gonna skyrocket i want you guys to keep watching we have 18 points and my teammate grade is going to go up a lot in this last minute of the game. So back on defense. I didn't know what my teammate was doing. I didn't know if I should pick up on this guy. And I kind of picked up too late. So I didn't end up getting the block. But I'm going to give it to my teammate here. So we have 18 points and I have a B. I just want you guys to keep your eyes on my teammate grade. So right here, I got the ball and I tried to post up and create a shot. But these teammates were just following each other. I don't know what they were doing. The floor spacing was horrible. So we have 10 seconds on the shot clock. This guy's just pump faking. No idea what he's doing. But if he does end up taking a bad shot, that means an extra offensive rebound for me if I have good positioning. Right here, this guy takes the mid-range. I get the board. I pass out to the other guy. He almost takes a horrible shot. He passes it back to me. I pass it to this guy. He's running. He takes a moving mid-range. I get another board. So that's two boards this possession. This guy ends up shooting a three. He misses. I can't get to that board, unfortunately. But at this point in the game, we had a pretty good lead. So that means more possessions. I ended up jumping at this guy. I don't know how he made that. In the top right, you guys can see that I get some good teammate grade for good pass, for find open teammate, and once again, for some reason, none of these guys want to be the point guard. They're just chilling at half court. They want me to make a bad pass or something. Right here, this guy gets stripped back on defense. I end up not getting a block once again. This 60 overall is kind of tough because the defense isn't the best, but it is still really easy to get rebounds being 7-3 and being taller than everyone on the court. Back on offense, again, for like the 20th time with 18 points. This guy ends up passing out to me. I didn't touch my shooting, so I'm just posting up, trying to create shot opportunities for them. Right here, I'm kind of near the paint. That's the positioning you guys want to have. You want to stay near the paint, but don't clog it up. So this guy ends up being wide open for three, and he misses. But we do get an offensive rebound, pass out to the other guy. He almost ends up shooting that. Right here, he takes a horrible shot in the paint, but it does go in somehow. They gave him a good animation. So I got good pass. I got offensive rebound. You guys can see in the top right, things just keep adding up. I also got an assist from that, so now we're at a B plus 
This guy ends up getting a steal. He ends up passing to the other teammate who pulls a pretty bad shot. I end up getting another offensive rebound passing to this guy. He ends up kind of being open and he passes to me. I could have scored there and got a score off assist, but I was just trying to get rebounds and assists because they were just missing. So I just kept trying to get my rebounds up, my assists up instead of scoring points. So that's what you guys want to do. If you guys have a good enough lead, you don't want to score. You just want to keep passing out right here. This guy ends up missing. I almost get an offensive rebound, but I was in a worm animation, so I couldn't get it there. But yeah, you guys saw what I did the last possession. I had opportunities to score, but I just kept passing it out because I knew they were going to miss. They weren't the best. So I just wanted to keep getting rebounds. And then if they end up making it, I get an assist. So my teammate grade just skyrocketed there at the end. And there you guys can see I scored only because it was a score off assist. And you get some extra teammate grade from that. I ended up getting an A-. minus and I ended up getting out of Rookieville. So as you guys can see right here, I went five and two in Rookieville on a 60 overall, and I had some friends that went six and zero with 60 overall, seven foot three players. And it's gonna be much easier, especially if you guys already have a guard, you definitely wanna make this big man. And I already had a power forward big man, but I just figured on a 7-3, it would be a lot easier. So I would just make this 7 foot 3 big man. And also one last thing, if you guys end up not finding games, just load into a new park, it takes like two seconds. But anyway, that's gonna be it for the video. If it helped you, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's Josh and I'm out.